All right, so a bit of a part two that other video. These are the eight volt power drive cells, all linked together. Forty and a half volts. Pretty good for something sitting at the scrapyard. So they're connected to said UPS. which has a beeper canceller which is now producing AC out here now the cool thing about this we can plug things in it's like our uh, little 150 watt floodlight there Hundred and fifty watts of load, probably two hundred in real terms. Let's see if we can run a thousand watt vacuum cleaner. This little beast. Right, so this pulls about a thousand watts when it's running. It's rated at nine fifty. We'll just watch the volt gauge as I turn it on. Gets upset and makes overloading noises. Alright, let's try something else. Alright then, so what about a 400 watt high power, high RPM die grinder? No real issues. So, seeing as it's a UPS, the next big test is to uh, feed AC into it and see what happens. Because um, charging it's the next thing we're going to have to do. Um, to, to charge, I'm not sure what we'll actually stop at for, uh, I guess, 14.4 times. Three is what you'd normally do for 36 volt. So that give you extra six volts and 42 kind of thing. So uh, it should be somewhere similar, I'd imagine. But let's plug it in and see if our voltage starts gaining. And it does. And it's charging off this inverter. Which this inverter's little fan's just revved up. So there you go. That's a win. Now I've got two massive great big rack mount. 1000 or well, 1500 VA, 1000 watt UPS is to play with as well. If this battery bank holds up a little bit, this is going to be awesome. I'll make a DC to DC charger to charge these with um, low voltage rather than inverting from 12 up to uh, 240 and then charging down to 40. It's just silly. Anyway, thanks for watching. More updates soon. Catch us on the next video.